two support ropes, one going that way, one going this way, just to keep it from swinging left to right. And our main line, run back over there, that tree supported with another rope running down, tensioned up. So we'll redirect it down to the base and to the winch. Uh, chiseled features, Adonis. So, so what, would, what would your wife say when you're talking about the ladies? The ladies? <laughs> <laughs> she would she would roll her eyes as she's been doing for more than 25 years. <laughs> She'd be like, oh God, I love that man. What a goof, what a total goof. And I'd say, you knew that when you married me. <laughs> Wait, there are uh, apparently two blind ladies that follow me on YouTube and think I'm all sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I'm attractive to blind women. <laughs> Look at this creek job, got quite a bit cleared away. These two, they want me to take down as well. Look pretty easy. I can give it a shot. Got Brian up there, just removing two lower limbs. Got two ropes in this guy, going up into that tree and this tree. They're both redirected over to Porter Reps over there, and I've tensioned them up with the Mazdam. I was gonna piece it out.
actually started notching this one. Then I noticed that both of these stems come from one parent stem right here. And pretty sure it would crack and break over backwards, so I need to strap it. We got a chain binder on there. We got a rope up over there and tied onto the two limbs I'm worried about. Get that tension up so that'll help stabilize them. military. Right, I'm pushing it a little bit. I'm supposed to get all my stuff today, but that's what I do have. Just about everything, but there's storms moving in. And I just learned that apparently our cat carrier was gifted. So, kind of sad. Leaving Gibbs for at least the night. I'll be back tomorrow to get the rest. I gotta get this tarp just strapped. And into the thunderstorm we go. Put the brakes on for a little bit because it looks like it's gonna pass south of here. But I'd be driving right into it right now. So I topped off the reservoir before I left the house. It's about a 45 minute drive and with the trailer on, by the time I got here, a little coolant light was on and got coolant all over. Fun times. Well, it's leaking from down there and the fan is blowing it. I don't think I've figured out the coolant yet, but I, I think I may have found my slow leak in my power steering fluid. So the hose there, and the clamp is like four inches up the hose. So that's cool. Haven't been filming, but got a new radiator. Flow through the intercooler. Just dropped it in. And I'm gonna start bolting it all back together. The previous owner had one of the remote start systems put in. It scares the crap out of me every time. I'm gonna hook up the battery and starts. Well, I made it to the other house and back, so I think we're good. I need to pick up a friend along the way. You can come out and get it.
tree we got quite a bit of weight going to the house so we got two ropes that red one back there that uh, Brian's tensioning up more of a safety we got the pull rope run down and redirect it up redirect it again to my truck winch <laughs> So the cleanup is just putting it all into the forest and, and setting that up is so much easier than dragging everything from the yard into the woods. Assist me in that endeavor. Ooh. Oh, a raptor too. That sucks. So I do a lot of tree work on there and... Oh, so my truck's gonna be I'm, I haven't even like taken any pictures. And so we removed what was unweighted. We got a rubber under my truck stabilizing it. We got using the Avanti as an anchor point. I've got the butt tied over there. Running over there. I'm gonna use the mass dam to lift the butt. We're gonna use the amount to lift this side. We're going back to We'll have the owner back the truck out. I'm right-handed, okay? <laughs> 